Hello there, this is DBT, and this Art of Rooms. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 9, and today I'm gonna be driving the Lamborghini Mira concept in multiplayer to determine how far can it take me? That's right, it's another one of these episodes in which I'm gonna be driving the car and see, well, how far it takes me. But I'm gonna be playing in Ghost Season, and there's actually only three days left, and I haven't played at all, at all so I'm really curious to see. Um, well, where the car gets me. So, the Mira is a bit of a peculiar car, because when you look at the stats, it is actually very fast, though it has bad acceleration. And even though this is bad acceleration, it's actually not that far off from that of, of the Diablo, which already is known to have bad acceleration. But overall, this for a smaller rank, it still seems to have somewhat similar performance. So, alright, let's try it out. And while we're at this, if you enjoy my content, why don't you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Remember that I post literally daily, not always of the same game, but there's so always something to watch over here. But yeah, so I decided to start with a classy car because you know that in multiplayer, even if you're on rank, you should probably be able to play with silver league cars, meaning class C. And that honestly makes class D cars even less useful than ever before. So I don't know how to feel about that, but hey, at least this definitely gives me the opportunity to drive this very peculiar car and i wanted to drive it in this season because while maybe it could do pretty decently also in ghost slipstream i was really curious to try it in regular ghost and see how it holds up by itself but when it doesn't have other car pushing me around so that's why i wanted to bring it over here and well test it out because it may not be the original Miura, and I'll talk more about that in a second, but it's still a lovely car, you know, a homage to the original Miura, so I can definitely appreciate it for it. And all these cars definitely out-accelerated me. A lot of these are Acura NSXs, and the NSX is definitely slower than my car, so this is, in fact, one of those cars that is going to take a while for you to build the speed, and, well, still, you know... Top speed it doesn't mean a whole lot if you can never get to it. And obviously, well, I can get to the top speed of this. It takes a bit. So, like I said, this reminds me a little bit of the Diablo, a car that I actually do enjoy driving a lot. In fact, I think I already made a video precisely on how far can it take me with that car. But hey, I lost to a... Is that a problem? That's kind of peculiar because this is a top speed oriented track and yet I got beaten by a car that it's agility. Yeah, problem. So, I did beat the Husari, eh? and every single Acura NSX. So like I said, it might take a while for the car to build a little bit of the speed, but it's definitely pretty fast. So hey, that's the first results. Wait, I'm already gonna be facing class B cars? I think I just saw a car. Yep, there's a Corvette Grand Sport. Oh boy, literally all it took was one race for me to go from on rank to facing class B cars already. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing fantastic over here, but hey, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying in the previous race, this is obviously not the original Mura. That is why this is the Mura concept. This is a car that never went into production, but the Lamborghini was thinking of making it. The original Mura is from what, like 60 something? It's a very old car. Still a lovely one, and it's known or it's called by some people the father or the grandfather or even the first supercar. So yeah, it's an important car in, you know, uh, automotive history. And, I don't know, I guess Asphalt 9 didn't want to bring such an old car in here, so instead they decided to bring the Mura concept, uh, 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 well, a concept that Lamborghini was thinking of making. However, it's kind of funny because the, the Mura, the, the Lambo Mura, the original, it was a B12, and the Mura concept is actually a B10 because it's based on a, I don't even know, I guess like a Yardo? I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah, so... I don't know, that's kind of peculiar that they went from, oh yeah, the Mura, which used to be the powerful B12, to now being a B10. Granted, a, a modern B10, B10 is still more powerful than an old B12, but you know, the B12 still retains that, that what would you say, that fame or, or whatever, of being like, oh, the big, big motor, but whatever, I'm nitpicking. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... I would really like to know if that's indeed why Game of did not want to bring the original mirror and they brought this one instead because they thought, oh, the other one is way too old, but oh well. Um, I did beat the, the Chevy Corvette Grand Sport, which is honestly surprising to me, and Shelby, Pininfarina, Sakura NSX, Asterion, and another Pininfarina, though those last two disconnected. And if you're really curious to know how I have my car upgraded, I have three epics applied to it, and that one of, rather two of them, 
where an acceleration, which like I said, the acceleration is already bad. So I had to try to get it the best that it could possibly be. And I put one on top speed. The rest is just at the max stat um, without any epic. So yeah, in case you were curious about that, there you go. And if you want to see the official colors for the car, it does have a bunch of them and I like it. This color I actually don't like at all. It's a bit too sickly yellow. Um, but yeah, it does have a bunch of different options. I was just using the orange one. So yeah, very cool looking option. So let's continue doing some races and see what else can this car do. Maybe it can continue being a bit of a winning underdog. I don't know. Oh boy, this isn't going to be good, is it? Osaka with this car, which is obviously not an agile car. There's um, a Aston Martin GT12. I see the pin in for Rina. I think I even saw a Viper. But I don't know exactly what the rest were, so I guess we're gonna find out. But yeah, again, not an extremely horrendous. I mean, it, it is a bit of a bad drift, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. But yeah, definitely not a car that you want to bring in a track like Osaka. But hey, at the end of the day, it is challenges what makes you thrive or hate life. That works too. I don't know. <laughs> but. Yeah, so I, I did think about it, like, man, should I wait to, to play with this car in Ghost Slipstream? Because like I said, I think that's where it would shine. This doesn't have a straight up terrible Nitro, but it definitely is not good. So I do imagine that going with Shockwave at all times would be pretty useful for this car. But like I said earlier, I just want to test this car as is and see what are its chances over here. Because I do imagine that in Classic Season, this car is not going to be able to do a whole lot. Because normally in Classic, you want cars that... And by the way, even though it looks like I'm behind second place, if you look at the top left, I'm actually seventh. I don't know why the game sometimes fails at counting. Ooh, someone wrecked. Let's go. At least I'm not last. Or maybe I will. I don't know. Uh-oh, he's going to pass me. He's going to pass me. No, he didn't. Sixth place, but first. <laughs> listen, listen. I was in seventh, so the fact that I still got sixth is something. All right, so GT12, two pin in Farinas, and SX is the Viper. Uh, but I did beat the H2. And there was a Z4, but that one disconnected. Well, yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, I think it's it's pretty clear that in general you want to avoid, um, you know, very twisty tracks with this car. I mean, not that you can avoid them, but you know, hope that you don't land in those too often. Um, but yeah, you get into a decent, you know, decently top speed, even not if it's full top speed oriented track, but you know, so long as it's not massively twisty, I think this car can do relatively all right. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of the Diablo, so I don't know, I, I need to get more used to it. And come to think about it, isn't the Bugatti EV110 kind of on the same boat where it's pretty quick? I think it's something like 349 or something. That's pretty quick, but it also has horrendous acceleration. So, I mean, I don't know about the rest of the stats, but yeah, I've seen this, this a bit more. I think the Arenero Husare used to be, you know, the 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 super quick class C car that was not oh god that's gonna be a wreck oh you gotta be kidding me man um i'm fine i'm fine i'll finish my idea before i rage quit this race but yeah i think the the arenero husari used to be this very unique car well maybe it's the the venture sock was kind of similar that you know it's very very quick but you know it has some other very clear weaknesses but now I see it a bit more often, like I said, this car, the Bugatti EV110, the, um, the Diablo. The Diablo is also very quick. I would imagine Diablo is probably amongst top five quickest cars in Class C. Or at least it was, I don't know nowadays. Because there's been so many cars added to Class C lately. There were two Ferraris that got put in the Elite Class C just in the last couple of updates. So I don't know what to make of all of that. I feel like Game Love is dead set on finally dethroning the um lamborghini gallardo oh i got past the ev 110 let's go back back at least the lambo beat the bugatti how about that all right so what happened there um pinning farina to accurus i did with the ev 110 look at it it's pretty upgraded there's a gallardo speak of the devil and an alfieri all right given a wreck i think that was still a pretty decent result but I think it has been proven that driving this car in silver is not really useful for it. So I changed it to the to the really go fast color that is red. It's some weird, slightly orangey red. It's not full on RGB um, FF0000 red. You know what I'm talking about? Hexadecimal or oh, whatever. But still, I, I imagine. And to be fair, we're in Himalaya, so that's also kind of good for 
for top speed. It's really good for top speed cars, though. I don't know that this particular version of Himalayas is the best. You know, when you're trying to focus on... Gotta go fast, but hey, still. There's a bunch of straight lines, so that's good enough. Um, which is the one that... There's one version of Himalayas, I think it's in the opposite direction, in which you end doing a gigantic jump, and I don't know, I don't know that I can describe it. But whatever that is, man, that one is absolutely bonkers for the top speed cars. It's like, yep, nope. It doesn't matter if you have the most insane acceleration and you shot ahead of everybody. If there's a top speed car behind you, that's where it's going to catch up to you and that's going to be the end of your race. But still, hey. And, and that is something, like I said, that I, I really like about this game, how the variety of stats makes it for very interesting races where, oh, maybe this car's really shooting ahead because of that absolutely bonkers acceleration but oh guess what i have the top speed kind of like this you see that guy was ahead of me because he had better acceleration i think i'm not sure um but then i caught up because of the top speed so long as i so long as you drive it well enough you should be able to catch up so especially in ghost when there's nobody to push you around so there were two h2 speed viper h2 accurate sex infinite project black and a bm bmw homage all right cool and by the way, did you see? Change the color, instant W, I'm telling you. Oh, come on, Osaka again, Jesus Christ. But by the way, I know that the that the content creators for this game already started posting their videos with information of the new updates, and I will make a video on that soon enough. I'm actually waiting for Gameloft to release the official patch notes on the website so that I can use that and use those images and whatnot. Um, but yeah, don't worry, the moment that that is available, I'm gonna make a video on that topic again even if that's gonna mean that there may be two asphalt nine videos in a row in the channel what yes it may just happen we'll see how things how things go but i'm definitely eager to ah jesus christ that was terrible um i'm really eager to talk about that because man new lambo i'm excited about it but that actually ties a little bit with why i wanted to record this while i could when i have a lot of fuel because you know i've i've bought the legend pass for the last couple of of seasons um because that was me for me to get the lamborghini super trofeo Mologato, aka the the hurricane sto and yeah i did get it all of that is great but honestly i don't know if i'm gonna be buying again a legend pass for the upcoming season because while there isn't a lambo coming and whatnot it's not part of the legend pass so i think i would just i would be all right by not getting the legend pass but if I don't get the Legend Pass, I don't get all of this additional fuel, which makes recording this video so much easier. So, yeah, that's why I wanted to take the opportunity to do it while I was here, while I still have a bunch of fuel. And, you know, I've used this type of opportunities. Third place, you know, that's not too bad. Um, using these opportunities to record with cars that have very little fuel. And this one has more, but still, I mean, why not use it? Use uh everything that i can while i can all right got defeated by the 17 cayman and a pin in forena but i did beat an nsx viper viper alfieri and this doesn't count because it is connected probably at the very start of the race ha huh. and i hadn't even noticed that i got to the gold league but yay i guess now we're gonna suffer because it's gonna be a lot of class b races okay ha huh. and we got to another twisted track let's go and by the way, I was just thinking that I didn't talk about at all how I acquired this car. And I think the first time that this car was made available here in Global was through a Grand Prix. And I did win the Grand Prix and I got the car to like two stars or something like that. And then, like a year later or so, and by the way, obviously this was during the uh, Lambo season, the last Lambo season that there was. And then after like a year, there was a key hunt for the car and that's how I, was, how I managed to get it to five stars. And the epics, probably I got them from, let me think. Probably I got some of these epics. Oh, maybe from the Revolta special event. Maybe that's where I got some of them from. Or maybe just during the Grand Prix. Because I know that the Grand Prix during the practice um, rounds, you can actually get at the very end one epic import part. So that's definitely how I got one of them. And then the other two may have been in there during the Revuelto event, because otherwise I don't know where I would have gotten this from. Because I'm sure I did not get it into 5% or whatever in the uh, Car Hunt Riot, because I never upgraded this car. In fact, it took an extremely long, Jesus Christ, an extremely long amount of time for me to finish upgrading this thing. So much so that five minutes before I started this video, I finished upgrading it. Third place, let's go, bye bye. All right, listen, listen. Third place against a bunch of Class B on a very twisted track, that's a W, all right? 
Um, got defeated by the Vantage, the Pinning Farina, but I did beat the NSX GT3 Evo. Uh, a Renero Husari, Appenin, Farina, Grand Sport, and an NSX. All right, there weren't as many Class B cars, but still, they were there. So I did beat one of them. That counts for me. Ooh, that's a lot of credits. So in general, is this car as bad as people make it out to be? Mm, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit tough with the bad acceleration, but it really has some pretty good top speed. Like I said, Nitro is, eh, you know, just eh. Not good, definitely not good, but not a straight up trash tier. So I think so long as you're comfortable with driving those cars that are about top speed and that, you know, you got to be careful to keep your top speed going and don't not to depend too much on Nitro, you should be able to do relatively all right, because this thing is definitely, definitely pretty fast. But like I said, bring this to classic season. That's where you're probably going to be crying a little bit because this thing won't be able to do much. The moment another car touches it, it's probably the moment that you're gonna lose like 30 kilometers an hour, and it's gonna take you so long to get it back that by the time you uh, feel comfortable again with your top speed, your enemies will be probably in the finish line. All right, maybe I'm exaggerating there, but you know what I mean. It definitely, the, the bad acceleration hurts the car, but you know, that's the trade-off to pay in this type of car very quick, and yet it takes a while to get there. So, yeah, I, I mean, that's understood, right? Generally speaking, cars that have really good acceleration tend to be not that quick. So, yeah, it's a, it's just a trade-off. You want speed or do you want acceleration? Which is that you prefer? And for the most part, I imagine most people will prefer acceleration because normally an acceleration-based car is going to be one that it's agile, Maybe it's even got good nitro, you know, another Corvette Grand Sport, and you know that everybody and their parents love the Corvette Grand Sport, at least in the sense of spamming it in multiplayer, but hey, it is what it is, and I got a third, no, come on, fourth place, uh, that was a third place, we must have finished pretty much at the same time, what was that, yeah, well, look, there was a difference of 33 milliseconds, well, it was close, but not close enough. But oh well, there you go. I just wanted to make a video on this car because I had never really tested it properly in multiplayer. Now that I have, my conclusions, or rather my thoughts on it, were correct. It's kind of like the Diablo. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.